Today, National Geographic and augmented reality company Indy are going to expose the International Space Station for us. Both are on the road, showcasing Indy's augmented reality technology to the general public. And as we're about to see, the way the general public interact with the augmented reality items is rather revealing, especially when we look at the second clip from the space station itself. As we're about to see, the general public, when interacting with the items, are looking away from the items they're interacting with. They're having to view it upon a screen, and then based on what they're seeing on the screen, then interact as a result of what they're seeing on the screen. You'll see what I mean now when we play the short clip. So let's have a look. Notice matey boys here petting something, but again having to look off, looking at the screen to see what he's interacting with. And there we get to see them interacting with a leopard. Of course, mum looking at the screen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was a great display of augmented reality. But of course, in doing so, what they've done here is expose the space station, as we're about to see. And now we've got a Canadian astronaut on the so-called space station, interacting with this honey pot. And just like the general public showed us when they interacted with augmented reality, this astronaut's going to show us that he's interacting with augmented reality by spending most of his time looking beyond the item he's playing with, the honey pot, obviously at a screen, to see the item and gauge where it is better. And in doing so, be, give out a more convincing performance. But if you really wanted to be convincing, you would have looked at the item you were playing with all the time. There would be no reason to look beyond the item you're playing with. That is unless, of course, you're looking at a screen to gauge and see where it is. So let's have a look at our mate. Expose himself, the space station, of course, with the help of National Geographic and Indy and their augmented reality technology. Take it away, Spella. Our so-called astronaut mate here spends most of his time looking at the screen beyond the item he's interacting with. Just like the general public did on the roadshow we looked at. I believe this day and age now, these so-called astronauts are able to wear contact lenses now that eliminate the use of the screen, which of course makes it obvious when we look at stuff like we've looked at today and in doing so makes it a little bit more convincing. But of course, there's still plenty of fails. I just thought that was great of National Geographic to show us the techniques which NASA have been using here to fool naive individuals into thinking that there's individuals like this character residing in a space station doing ludicrous speeds around a scientifically impossible hole. Obviously, 